Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today as we watch the wiggles of tall plasma filaments turning over the northern polar crown. We've got a slow eruption in progress on the sun, so let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours without much visible in terms of those eruptions on the Earth-facing disk. We are seeing the northern extension of that southern polar coronal hole, and incoming on the eastern limb is a large plasma complex. It's where the eruption is taking place. The filament has begun plasma accumulation along the spine, is lifting, and is going to erupt today 90 degrees off of Earth's position. Solar wind is mostly silent. There was a tiny peak in plasma stream density just before the end of the last day, UTC. It was minor, but enough to force exploration of the higher values within the calm range over on the KP index. It's noteworthy that Mercury geocentrically conjoins the Sun today. Huge glare wings off the reflected solar brightness as the planetary geometries of the month begin to kick off. There needs to be an awareness of the storm formation tonight in the United States. This evening, it's going to quickly shift from the Midwest to the south and then eastward towards the coast. Some of those developments will be severe. Quick look at the Blood Echo wind map to show the continued dominance of the south and west Pacific signatures in the deep. Noteworthy that this is only a third of the factors at QuakeWatch.net. The atmosphere is where this simple graphic begins to get harder. Let's peek in on NGC 4100. The angled vantage here allows us to see the dust and gas distribution amidst the extremely bright young hot stars in blue, also where tremendous formation is occurring. Well folks, I always mention that the meteors we hear about in the news are nothing. None end up making it to the atmosphere and most fireballs we do see in the atmosphere were never spotted beforehand. This one was spotted as it was entering the top 50 closest flybys to the geostationary satellite ring in recorded history. It is out and away now. Quick peek in on the long-term solar forcing of water levels in peatlands. Whether it's the instantaneous change in total electron content with space weather or the cumulative effect of decades and centuries, the sun controls it. And speaking of total electron content, five-day anomaly window before major quakes in Turkey, including their 7.1 rumble about eight years ago. They are currently in the stage of taking the electroquake concepts and going back through old records so they will better be able to spot the anomalies in the global electric circuit before the next one, which is what we do at QuakeWatch.net. We've got four galactic hits coming up next, and the first one here seeks to create a model to explain how large and hot the seemingly invisible massive galactic halo really is. This follows from decades of not seeing it, believing it all to be dark matter, but the discoveries of the last five years showing only normal, diffuse, hard-to-see plasma and dust, and no dark matter. But a considerable portion of the missing mass is not even in the halo. It is in what we call the thick disk. The spread, the full extent of the thick disk, and the populations of stars within the higher latitudes does indeed exist, which tosses another wrench into the galactic rotation paradox. So last but not least, we've got two articles from the Galaxy's 2020 publication. Both plainly support a plasma cosmology, baryons only. Both suggesting there is no dark matter needed in galaxies and coming at it from two different directions. The truth is that even within the thin central disk, there's simply much more in the interstellar medium than they understand or account for. All of this is in our Plasma Cosmology movie. Find it here on YouTube, at the link below this video, on our channel page, or on the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org, where you can find all of our movies and many more free resources. The website memberships at suspiciousobservers.org are how we're able to do this free show on YouTube here every day, and we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.